Praise be to God, there is no other God except God. I was just browsing online yesterday, just being surprised over and over again at how unserious the online religious discourse has become. And one thing I noticed in a few of them was that they were projecting hate towards groups that they themselves had chosen before. For example, in one video, I heard the sentence, I used to be a Quranist, but beware of Quranists. Another video said something like, I used to be a Shia, but now I realize how evil they are. Another video said something like, I used to be a Sunni, and then it went on speaking hatefully against them. Or I used to be a Catholic, but here is my critique, and so on. And by the way, these sentences came from people who were not born into those previous religious groups. They chose those groups. And then they hated them later, switching to a new group. Or maybe first they switched and then they started hating them. And this doesn't fully make sense. Here's why. But before I tell you why, let me first say that I can understand how someone might hate another religious group in which he was born because he did not choose it while in this world. But hating a previous religious group which they themselves chose, doesn't make sense for two potential reasons. First, if it is the case that they chose that group because they did not have all the necessary information when they joined them, while being relatively intelligent, then the people in that group probably also just lack the information. And once they gradually get that information, like he did, they might also switch to a better group. So no reason to hate them. They are just in the same path in which he was, but simply at an earlier stage. On the other hand, if he chose that earlier group because he was not intelligent enough, not being able to process the information correctly in his brain, despite having all the information, then how does he know that he is in the correct group now? Because clearly his brain makes mistakes. So again, no justification to hate the previous group because he can be wrong now as well. So when they focus on hating the previous religious, religious groups, which they themselves chose before, it's like hating yourself in the past. The Quran in verse 494 says, remember that you used to be like them and God blessed you. So there is no reason for anyone in any religious group to hate a previous religious group which they had chosen before. There is an exception though. If the previous group transgresses against people or you, then you have a reason. Verse 2946 says, do not argue with the people of the scripture except in the nicest possible manner, unless they transgress. This is why we see that God told Moses to speak to Pharaoh nicely in verse 2044, because Moses used to belong in that group of Pharaoh. But then in verse 17102, we see that Moses was not speaking to Pharaoh nicely, because by that time, Moses had witnessed the transgressions of Pharaoh. Pharaoh doubled the workload of the slaves, the people of Moses, for no reason. He wanted to humiliate them. Anyway, these are the general principles regarding when it is reasonable or unreasonable to hate a previous group in which you belong. But in practice, the situation is usually much more dynamic. It's probably never the case that they fully transgressed, or that they did not transgress at all, or that you lacked all the information, or that you are completely unintelligent or that the group in which you were born had nothing to do with that group which you chose first. It's a combination of all those factors at different levels. So in practice, you just do what feels right with an honest heart. Here I was just exploring this idea in theory. And because it doesn't help much in practice, it probably is one of the least important portions of a Friday sermon that I have given. However, let's make this Friday sermon more important. Let me remind you that instead of focusing on what is wrong in other groups, Let's focus on what is right in our group, something which our group is correct about, and no other group has it exactly like us, is that we do the, both the contact prayers and the zakat correctly. These two just cannot be wrong, even if somehow they cannot seem to realize the, the, why these are very important and why these are obligatory, they still cannot prove that these are wrong, ever. How can prostrating to God be wrong? How can helping other people through charity be wrong? The Bible says charity never fails. It just cannot be wrong. Praising God in our contact prayer cannot be wrong. Glorifying God in our contact prayer cannot be wrong. Bowing to God in our contact prayer cannot be wrong. So let's focus on that. Let's focus on what we know absolutely for sure that it cannot be wrong. 